Derek? Derek! Welcome back, Derek. Now, I've just received news from head office that they've lifted the moratorium on taking on new clients. So this month will be a good month to begin forging new relationships. Mm. So let's get started on item nine. Steve, you can kick it off. What have Full Moon Enterprises got to offer? Ah, well, we're still on track for full payment on the 23rd. When you say full payment, what do you mean exactly? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, if we go public now with an exact figure, or even a ballpark figure, well, it's bound to come back and bite us on the bum. Stakeholders won't be happy. I realise that, but there's a lot of variables beyond our control. We can't realistically expect Full Moon Enterprises to dish out a cash sum to every stakeholder. Mm. I agree. And don't forget we've got 11 other projects on the go at the same time. We start quoting numbers for this one project, they're all going to expect the same amount. And we're already sticking our necks out saying we're going to have it on the 23rd. Personally, I'd be a bit more cautious and say after the 23rd, that way there's no panic if they don't all receive a payout on the 23rd. Yes, we've, we've all seen how these things work. It's inevitable that somebody won't get paid till the 24th, or even the 25th. Now, if we word our statement so as not to commit us to the 23rd, they'll still be happy and we won't look foolish. OK, let's say after the 23rd, and leave out the exact figure for now. Do you think you'll have the numbers by the 18th? Oh, you know how these guys work. I'll let you know as soon as I receive confirmation, but judging by past experience, I wouldn't hold my breath. OK, keep me posted. Moving along. Carolyn, any luck with Oswald Ryan? Yes, things seem to be improving. They've been doing some belt tightening over the last few months since their CEO fell on his sword. But the merger with 10th House could mean some international opportunity. OK. Let's turn to the Mercury account. Melanie. Jeff from Mercury's on the line right now. I'll just bring him up on the screen. Jeff, are you there? Yeah, hearing you loud and clear. Great. I'm here with Portia, Simon, Steve, James, Louise, Carolyn, Mike and Derek. What's the latest? Well, as you know, we're going through a transition right now, so I can't really commit to anything, but I can tell you the outlook's very promising. Thanks, Jeff. Do you think you'll be able to tell us something soon? I think I should be in a position to have some good news by next Wednesday. Appreciate that, Jeff. I know you're in a hurry, so we won't keep you any longer than we need to, but do you think you can be a little more specific? Well, not really. I mean, my hands are tied. If I was to reveal anything right now, I could lose my job. That seems to be the universal excuse at the moment. OK, if you hear anything before Wednesday, let us know. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be in touch. Melanie, I'll give you a call as soon as things settle down here. OK, thanks, Jeff. All right, cheers. Bye. 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 Cock. I still hear you, Steve. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that leaves us with a question. What are we going to put in the report? Well, why don't we just make something up? How do you mean exactly? Well, the way I see it, we come in here month after month and go round the table for each of the 12 projects when every single time we don't have the exact figures or precise dates for anything. We're trying to forecast next month based on our best guesses from last month. I mean, what's the point? We might just as well write down exactly what happened last month for each project, swap that around between the projects and issue it for next month. You mean fudge the figures? Isn't that what we're doing anyway? Let's face it, when was the last time someone tried to sue us because they didn't get rich on the 23rd? Ah, oh, just because it's never happened doesn't mean it won't. You can't seriously believe that. It's not as simple as that. Our stakeholders... Our stakeholders expect the impossible. They want to know precisely what's going to happen next month based on vague estimates gleaned from people who won't commit to anything. The truth of the matter is, we simply don't know. They need to accept that and get over it. He does have a point. OK, look, we need to take this discussion offline. Now's not the time for it. We've been here a day and a half and we've still got three more projects to get through by four o'clock. OK, so let's just get this month's forecast completed. We can review the reporting process at a later date. Simon. Seems only fair if you can set up a time for that. My pleasure. So, has anyone else got anything to add? No. Great. So what have we got? Louise, can you give us a summary? The coming month will be a good time to begin forging new relationships. 
expect some money from full moon after the 23rd. Orion's move into 10th house is likely to present international opportunities and Mercury in transition, but we'll bring good news next Wednesday. Thanks. Right. Well, I guess we run with that then. Okay, that's Sagittarius done. Let's break for lunch and then we'll move on to Capricorn. <laughs> Derek! <gasps>